um, the first thing I need to do is I need to mow the lawn. So when I when I I've got this note here that says this is urgent because neighbors are starting to complain. So then once I'm done mowing the front yard, I change this arrow to a plus, and you can see it turns yellow. Once it's done with the backyard, it changes plus turning on. So since these all these sub points are done, that means that the super point is done. So I wanted to show my latest project recently. Uh, it's now live. It's called mondonotes.com, M-O-N-D-O notes.com. And you'll be able to see it there on the screen. And uh, part of the reason why I wanted to show this is just because I think it's very useful for myself. I'm, I use it myself. And I think other people will find it useful. So basically, what Mondo Notes is, is it, the name Notes is a little bit misleading. I just couldn't really think of a better name. It's actually a generic task manager. The task managers that I've been used to didn't really, they weren't very intuitive. They didn't really work the way made sense to me. So I decided to go ahead and uh, make this, and I'll explain the, the, the process by which I developed this at the end of the video so that if you're not interested, you can skip it. It color codes your text based on the leading character, the first thing you have in the line. So like, so you could say like, here's a title. And once I put that semi, that once I put that colon at the end there, it underlines that line as it knows this is a title. And then I hit enter to go down to new, new line, of course, and put I want to put a to do item, so I need to do this item. So what I do is I'll start out with an arrow. I mean, it's technically like it's a close angle bracket, um, but once I do that, once I start it off with a uh, with an arrow like that, it highlights it green. And let's say, so I've got these these items. This is the second item that I need to do. And let's say I want to put some added information in there. Like say, here's some more information about that item. So basically all this does is it, it color codes what we're doing and what this helps me to do is it helps to organize my thoughts. Uh, so if I have something that's really complicated that requires me a, a lot of, of thinking, what I basically do is I write on paper, I mean not literally paper, uh, I, I write um, by it so like whenever I have more information to add to it, I'll add to it like this so I can add as much as I want and I can, here's like here's a second point, uh, so like and I can in, uh, and I can indent using Alt and the arrow key. So that's uh, Alt arrow right indent, and then Alt arrow left is unindent, and like like so on. And then whenever I'm done with an item, just to mark that it's done, I change that arrow to a plus, and you can see the color change. It changes from green to this this yellowish color, and that way that color coding helps you to easily scan through, you're not, you're not looking for color, you're not looking for the name of the item, you're looking for the color. It helps to scan through and see things quite a bit more clearly. Programmers have been using this for, I don't know, since the 60s or something. They would have color-coded uh, code so that like the, the text editor they're using will say, is this a variable, then color it like this. Is this a function, then color it like this, things like that. So uh, really what this, the primary thing that this does is just helps to organize things. And it's a great way to keep track of what I've done. So like if I have to leave a project, you know, five o'clock comes, day's over, I need to go home. I come back the next morning and I've got these notes of where I've been and I don't have to get, I, I you know, maybe I'm confused because I don't remember where I was. I look at those notes, I know immediately where I was. My mind, my memory's jogged immediately. It's very, very helpful that way. And I've used this for actually years, not this specific, not mondonotes.com. I had a local program that I'll go into more detail on that later. As kind of an example, I actually use this to keep track of, like I've got a video game, I'm playing an old school RPG, and to keep track of like where I've been, like I come to a point where I think, okay, I don't know what to do here, but I could probably come back to it later uh, with like a new ability or something, or just new knowledge and solve this puzzle then. So I use that to keep track of it, things like that. And there's here on the home screen, this is the default, the default note that 
tells you more about like I, I mentioned to do there's also done you can you can call something canceled and remember you can change the color of these with just the leading character and you can see when there's no definitive leading character it's black that's the default color so cancel that means like for whatever reason I decided not to do it or I couldn't do it or something so these three dots here that means I'm waiting on something else to be done before I can continue uh, and this, starting with an exclamation point, that means this is an important point. And starting with a question mark, that means there's a question here that needs to be answered before I can continue. And if this turns out to be popular, uh, I hope to add to it, maybe add some more features like uh, folding. That means like you've got like a, a whole set of lines that are indented that are like a sub point. Then I want to um, like fold those up so that I can scroll through more easily. Hopefully, if, like, if this becomes popular, people like it, I'll be able to add that feature or I'll be able to take the time. I'll have the motivation to add that feature. Very quickly, uh, every time I explain this to somebody, all of my friends, they always say, what does Mondo Notes mean? So I, I guess I'm not a lot of people know this, but Mondo, maybe I made this up. Maybe this is just completely made up. So Mondo is a note from, uh, is a word from like the 60s. So it's a word from the 60s that just means, it's like groovy or something like that. So we say, you know, something's mondo or something, I don't know. You know, it's just a word like that. And literally it's called mondo notes because I could not think of a better name. And it's catchy. You know, you, you, you'll be able to recognize that. So this is just sort of an example of like what you might use, what you might use this for. Um, it would be quite, a, you wouldn't, you probably wouldn't want to use it. Maybe you would want to use it for a project like this, but like let's say in this project we're dealing with yard work. So basically the way I would approach this is I'd just go from top to bottom. So I'd say, um, the first thing I need to do is I need to mow the lawn. So when I, when I, I've got this note here that says this is urgent because neighbors are trying to complain. So then once I'm done mowing the front yard, I change this arrow to a plus, and you can see it turns yellow. Once I'm done with the backyard, it changes plus to yellow. So since these, all these sub points are done, that means that the super point is done. And then say, well, it's done trimming trees. And then clean gutters while well, I'm waiting on the ladder to be returned from Jeff before I can clean the gutters. So this is just an example of like how, he, and then when well, I'm done with that, I'll say, and then maybe I'll say, returned on Thursday. And I, I like to go ahead and change that to a plus too. So that's just an example of, of, um, An example of how you might use a project, you might how you might use a document like this. So I think it's very helpful to keep to help keep track of larger projects. You're going to have something that's a lot larger than this. So hopefully you might find that helpful. Uh, I'm putting it out there just because I thought it certainly helped me over the years, like a whole whole lot to help keep track. You know, as a software developer, I've got a lot of stuff to keep track of, uh, and this way I don't have to keep it all in my head all at once. I've got it written down somewhere where I can reference everything. And uh, you could also, like, I've used this for taking notes in books, uh, from books. Like, so if I, had, if I had something this developed when I was in college, I would have found it to be very, very useful. Um, I did have something just not quite as, as detailed as this. Um, I probably wouldn't use it for, like, live note taking, like, in class. I, I could, though. I mean, I, I just, I'd be concerned about, like, internet connection and things like that. As I'm editing the video, something that I wanted to add uh, as an addendum is just so you know, these notes are encrypted, so they are as secure as I could make them. Uh, in fact, I can honestly say that they are more secure than some companies because, like some big companies, because as we see from the news and as I know from personal experience, uh, not every company will do things like go to the trouble of encrypting social security numbers and things like that. So I did encrypt these with all the best practices that I know, but just bear in mind that I'm like I'm one person making this, so it's possible that I miss something. So don't put things like I'd, I'd rather you not put things like social security numbers or credit card numbers and things like that. It'd just be better not to put that in there, just so you know. Just as a quick, like a backstory, if you're interested, if you're not, you can stop watching this now. But as like as a quick backstory. Uh, I developed this over a over the course of several years. When I was in college, I had I had this idea of write down everything you know. Um, that that's for problem solving, but for task management, 
I had this concept where I would just like I just basically the to do the, the task managers that I found were driving me crazy. They just weren't very intuitive. They weren't very helpful. So I literally just opened up Windows Notepad and just kept track of everything this way. And I kept track of it using these symbols but not having anything color coded. Windows Notepad, you can't color code it. And then, um, and it's just small bits and pieces like adding the three dots for the waiting. That wasn't like an initial thing. That was, that was something that came later. Maybe I'll make a syntax file for Vim to, to color code these task lists that I've been managing. Mm -hmm. So I was able to do that, and I was surprised at how much of a difference the color code made for me. Like it made it a whole lot easier to scan through these these different items. And then, uh, just like a couple months ago, I was showing that to my sister, and I and she said, uh, "Could I use this?" I said, "Well, you'd have to use Vim, and I don't know if you'd like to use Vim. It's not very. It, it's like it's programmer friendly, but it's not very like end user friendly." So I thought, well, I could just make this into a JavaScript project and put it on a web page. So, so that's really the the backstory to it. Uh, I don't know. I I think it's helpful. I know. I if nobody else uses this, I know that I will use this for myself because being able to use it, like for for big detailed projects, I still want to use the Vim plugin. And by the way, that's available on GitHub. If you're a Vim user and interest, interested in that, you can go to my A Norman, and there's like it's called Vim Syntax, and somewhere in Vim Syntax, there's that to do plugin. Uh, so, so, so if nobody else in the universe uses this, I will still use it uh, because I can access this from my computer, I can access it from my phone. It, it's just going to be very, very useful for me to be able to handle it that way. So, if you're interested in that, be sure to go over to mondonotes.com. Oh, by the way, as in, uh, oop, I accidentally saved it. I saved a blank note. <laughs> I can delete it though. Here, let's go ahead and do that. It has a as a bonus. Just I don't know if you're interested in this, but once I load this, see I actually have the notes of what I wanted to put into the video there, um, and I've got this note with no name. I want to delete that. Currently delete open. Cur delete currently open note. This cannot be undone. Yes. And this is just the general like the explanation of what you're going to be of how you're going to be using it. All right, thanks for watching. If you're interested, go on over to mondonotes.com. Uh, there's to register, there's no email address. So I'll go ahead and go to register. So there's no email address. You, I'm not I'm not going to spam you because I can't spam you. I am not going to have your email address. So, uh, and that also means don't lose your password. So if you're interested, go on over to Mondo Notes and register and make some notes. All right, thanks for watching.